summertime can be one of the most stressful times of year to be out on the water you have pleasure boaters you have jet skis you have a lot more fishermen that are normally not out there and with the water temperatures warming up you have less oxygen which makes the fish less responsive during the heat of the day but with these three secrets i'm about to share with you you're going to put more fish in the boat if you get out there and beat the heat this summer oh guys Steven Turner here with Turner Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, the channel is all about teaching you how to put more crappy into your boat. So summertime, lo and behold, we're out here. You know, the heat wave is kind of over. We're, we're still dipping in the 90s, a little bit of the 80s here. But it's more comfortable than it was, say, three weeks ago. Definitely more comfortable. But has the fishing really changed the water temperature has dropped just a little bit so no the fishing still hasn't really changed much so I'm gonna give you three things that I've learned over the years of fishing during the hot weather that are guaranteed to put more fish in your boat so let's hit the thumbs up button for me and if you're not subscribed be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my uploads trying to teach you how to put more fish in your boat so number one guys the first tip i'm going to give you you know deep water crappy summertime go hand in hand they're like they're, they're meshed up just like this and you're going to stick by it well i'm going to tell you to break that bond get out there early and look shallow steven it, the water temperature is 85 degrees why are crappy going to be and 10 feet to 5 feet of water. I don't make the rules of fishing and I can't explain it. It's, I mean, in my opinion, it's something to do with oxygen and the bait moving up shallow during the night. So early in the morning, late at evening, check shallow. 10 foot brush piles, 8 foot brush piles, 15 foot brush piles. It's just kind of in that mix, you know, 10 to 15 foot check those before you go to your 20 to 30 foot brush piles and there will be fish there and normally it's bigger fish because the bigger fish you know they like meat they kind of chunk it and you know sometimes you just got to go by mcdonald's real early in the morning or late at night and get you a bacon cheese biscuit and go about your business so those big crappy, those big bold slabs, they're gonna go up there shallow into the 10, 10 to five foot, 15 foot brush piles up there. And they're gonna get them some minnows and they're gonna grow bigger. That's the only way I know how to explain it. Number two reason that, you know, you can catch more fish this summer is simply guys, simply, do not be afraid to use minnows minners bait you know me and the crappy man we run crappy man jigs you know it's just the two of us and we enjoy everybody's orders and our jigs do put a lot of fish in the boat but when it gets tough hey you're gonna see me and him out there with a bucket of minnows just like everybody else there's something about live bait being able to put it in their face and they're gonna be more eager to bite it and all that jazz and even you know here's another side tip you can actually take your jig cut the minnows up into three pieces and hook a body part like you would a crappy nibble to your jig and fish it that way sounds crazy but trust me try it and they will bite it when they won't bite nothing else number three put more fish in your boat this summer don't be afraid to move move around I've said that time and time again on this channel you pull up to a brush pile stacked with fish you're like oh my god this is the mother load catch one oh it's on 45 minutes later you've caught one 
my rule of thumb and I thought about making a video on this I do what I call a rotation I do a rotation of baits now I probably will do a video on this because I'm trying to start this new series where you know I, I pump out a couple more videos a week sitting in the shop while I'm making jigs so I can inform you guys about all the stuff because what I've realized is, you know, I've been fishing 28 years of my 31 years of my life. Probably more than that, but I can only remember so much of it. And a lot of stuff that I've learned, I've become accustomed to. And I, it's, it's second nature, but you guys out there are just beginning. It's not fair for me to try to go over something without you first taking a, your first steps. You know, you gotta, you gotta crawl before you walk, so to say. <laughs> but... I call it a rotation. I go through a rotation of select jigs that I use and you know with live scope I'm seeing how they're reacting to it. Now without live scope you know you do all this and you just leave. But with me I'm seeing you know if I fire out a crappy man green and they react to it but don't bite it I'll repeat the cast and see if I can get one to bite it and if they don't do it then I'll switch to a natural color. Fire it out there. If he does the same thing as with Crappy Man Green and don't bite it, then I'll downsize and then I'll upsize and then I'm going to a new brush pile. Simple as that. This takes like 15 minutes. Even if I catch one, if I have four or five casts where they're following it, not biting it, that's it. I'm going to the next one. I may come back to that brush pile, but I am done with that brush pile for that time period now fish feed at different times and a lot of the feeding times right now guys is at 4 and 2 a.m. now who's out there fishing that time not me because I'll do do too good with all them bugs in your boat with all the lights running no, on <laughs> but I will get out there before daybreak as y'all seen in the last video before it one of them last video I was out there real early but Anyway, guys, that's my three tips to put more fish in your boat this summer. You know, modify them to your fishing style. Everybody's got a different fishing style. I'm a finesse fisher. I like small baits. If you like bigger baits, adjust the tips to the bigger baits. But, summertime, they like them small. Anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed the video.